15 things you need to know when dealing with the police. At some point in your life, you'll have to deal with law enforcement officers, even if you haven't broken any laws. We'll be answering the most common what if and can they questions about cops. You have the right to hit that like button. And let's get started. What do I do if a police officer stops me on the street? You must answer questions about your name and where you live. As soon as you give this information, ask, am I free to go? If the officer says yes, then you can leave. If you are visiting another country, always carry a copy of your passport or any other ID, a copy of your visa or tourist voucher, and your hotel's business card. Stay respectful at all times and remember that touching a police officer is always a bad idea, even if you're just trying to be friendly. If the police come up to you and ask questions, it doesn't mean they think you've committed a crime. But if they don't let you leave after you ask them to, or you're being read your rights, they suspect you've broken the law. Do I have to answer their questions? No, you have the right to remain silent. You will never be punished for not answering a question. In any case, consult your lawyer first. Remember, only a judge can force you to answer questions in court. What do I do if I'm being asked to leave a public place? If the police are asking you to leave a public place, they suspect that you may be the reason for a conflict that's disrupting the peace, are very drunk or intoxicated and represent a danger to the people around you or their property, are homeless or mentally unstable. In this case, police officers don't need any written document forcing you to leave the premises. But there are some exceptions to this. The police cannot order you to move if you're protesting some political issue or taking part in a strike. What if law enforcement officers pull me over? Remain inside the car, stay calm, and be polite. Keep your hands on the wheel so that the officer can see them at all times. If the police officer requests to see your documents, such as your driver's license, vehicle registration, and insurance card, show them. But don't open your window completely. Step outside if the officer asks. Only answer questions in connection with the reason you were pulled over. If the officer asks you questions that don't pertain to that, tell them that you refuse to answer. Why do police officers touch your car when they pull you over? Police officers do this in order to leave their fingerprints on it. This can prove that they had an encounter with a certain driver. In the case of an emergency, they'll be able to identify the driver thanks to the fingerprints left on his car. Nowadays, most patrol cars have dash cams, so officers don't need to leave their fingerprints. Some might still do it because it's a hard habit to break. What if I've been mistreated by the police? Write down the officer's badge number, their name, or any other identifying information. They're obliged to provide it. Try to find witnesses and get their names and phone numbers. If you're injured, seek medical attention, take pictures of your injuries, and copy all papers the doctor gives to you. Call a lawyer and file a complaint against the law enforcement officer responsible for the mistreatment. What do I do if a police officer asks me for a bribe? An officer can never demand money from you. If you've been pulled over, you'll be given a ticket. Tickets can only be paid at certain places like the DMV, the county or city courthouse, or online. If you don't agree with a citation you've been given, you can contest it in court. If an officer demands money from you on the spot, don't agree to give it. Police officers who ask for bribes usually try to hide their badges. If you can see this identifying information, write it down. Pay attention to any visible license plates. This information can help identify the police officer later on. Stay polite and respectful at all times. Move on and report the incident later. What should I do if officers come to my house? Ask through the door if they have a warrant. If the answer is no, don't let them in and don't answer any questions. Say, I don't have to talk to you. If the officers confirm that they have a warrant, make sure you see it before you open the door. If you've already stepped outside, close the door behind you and ask to see the warrant. 
Make sure the search warrant contains the following information. Your full name and address, the date it was issued, the judge's name, a description of any items to be searched for, and the name of the agency conducting the search. Check if there are any mistakes in the warrant and point them out to the officers. If there are mistakes, don't agree to the search, but never argue or step in if the officers decide to conduct the search anyway. Call your lawyer as soon as possible. Ask if you can watch the search. If you are allowed to, be attentive. Write down any identifying information available. Names, badge numbers, car plates, the name of the agency. Also, check if all the officers are from the same agency and take note if they confiscate anything. Find somebody to be your witness and watch the search. Can officers search me, my home, my car, or my bag? Not unless you give them your permission. If you don't want them to search your belongings, you have to say out loud, I do not consent. They can if they have a warrant or probable cause to believe that you've been involved in a crime or that you have evidence of a crime in your bag, car, or other belongings. Do I have to show officers my immigration documents? Always carry your immigration documents on you at all times. The type you need to have with you depends on your immigration status. If you don't have valid immigration documents, you can be arrested. Keep a copy of your documents in a safe place and apply for a replacement immediately if you lose them or they're about to expire. If I'm entering with valid travel papers, can law enforcement officers stop and search me? Customs officers have the right to stop, detain, and search any person or item entering the country. TSA agents have the authority to stop and search you or your bags, but you can't be selected for a personal search only based on your nationality, race, gender, religion, or ethnic background. Can airport security search my laptop files? Yes, they can. They're even allowed to make copies of the information in the files. If you're selected for a laptop search, write the name of the person who conducts it. You can and should register a complaint with the TSA to find out the reason for the search. What if I'm selected for a strip search? This is never a routine thing. If it happens to you, it means the officers have reasonable suspicion. They are obliged to take you to a private area and the searching officer must be the same sex as you. What if I witness a crime? Protect yourself. Run, call for help, hide, or whatever is necessary to keep yourself out of harm's way. Check if anyone needs help and call 911 to report the crime and get medical and law enforcement to the scene. Don't touch or move anything. It can damage or contaminate critical evidence. Focus on what's happening around you. Pay attention to people, vehicle models and plate numbers, or any other distinguishing details. Take pictures or video. When the police arrive, explain what you witnessed and answer all questions truthfully. The police cannot force anyone to make a statement, but they may get a subpoena, which is a document that requires a witness to appear in court. What do I do if I need help from the police? In an emergency, call 911. Make sure you have it in your contact list. If there is no real immediate danger, you should call your local police department. It's good to have their number in your phone too. So remember, when dealing with law enforcement officers, stay calm and respectful at all times. Never argue with or touch a police officer and always state out loud if you do not consent. Have you ever had to deal with any of these situations? Write about your experience in the comments. Share this video with your friends to keep them on the safe side. And if you still haven't done so, subscribe to our channel.